All right, welcome back, Nocturnal Duck here with a brand new deck just for you. And this one is finally ready. It's been in the oven for quite some time, the witch's oven. And that's my job. I am the chef and I am cooking a feast fit for a king. So come one, come all, take a seat and get ready for the soiree, the table spread, the king's feast. Alright, so what is this big feast I'm going to cook, this soiree? Basically, it is all going to feed the king. This guy, you sack three food tokens, bring him back from the graveyard, and then we're going to use our drawbridge to attack with him straight away. So that's quite genius, but what the idea with the drawbridge is it gives creatures. So all of our creatures haste, and the amount of times I bring back a couple of these guys and swing him with 14 is pretty consistent and 14 vigilance and trample wins us games so the way we get him in the graveyard is with our secret keeper dumping obviously milling ourselves and then the other half is a zero four creature perfect blocker but we're going to just cook it we're going to make a uh, fish we're going to make fish for the king then we go to our gilded goose this is coming down with a food token and then we are going to witch's oven and make another food token so we're going to have fish and then we're going to have goose all on the table so the witch's oven is all of my utensils I'm going to use to cook for the king. Then we have our crash drawbridge which I have spoke about and we're never going to use the oven for him, he is too important. And by the way, every single game it sticks, it stays there forever and I feel like the opponent totally underestimates it and that works to our advantage. Our trail of crumbs, mwah, crumbs off the side of the table, yes, for you, for you, whatever, everyone gets something off the table. This, we're gonna be sacking three tokens to play the king, so we're gonna be triggering this a lot, and it only costs one, so we sack three tokens, we have the ability to pay three and look at the top two cards. So we see the top six cards off our deck and pick the best three. So that's geniusly in here. Our golden egg, this is a food within itself. So that's just extra food in case we need it. But it is also a card draw, which is amazing. And in case we need the mana, we can use it. But I never have actually needed to use that for mana. I've only used it to sack for the king. So we have eggs on the table as well. Oko, he comes with his own token. He already comes with his own little bowl of guacamole and throws it into the middle and everyone is stoked. But he's plus one, turning anything into a 3-3. You can target your own food or, which isn't ideal by the way, you can target their big flyers, their 4-3 flyer or their 5-5 flyer or their 7-7 seven, seven flyer. Just put it on the ground, make it a 3-3. So that works in our favor. We take away their biggest creature and then they have to face down a king. So they're not necessarily going to chump block with something that's just gonna die when they were counting on it to stick around. So that's sort of the shenanigans we're hoping for. And then he's minus five, which is quite easy to get to because we have a volume of blockers to just protect him. We can just swap a food token for whatever, whatever it is with power three or less. So that works in our favor incredibly. All of his, um, you know, loyalty abilities come into play. And that's what I love about him. It's a planeswalker you actually use and maximize value from. We have our Kazmina, only two of. I've been considering boosting it to four. She's in here because it just limits the ability for them to attack us or, oh, sorry, the Planeswalker or creatures, i.e. the King or our Tamios, Oko or whatever, and it costs them two more. So, you know, Red kind of hates her, but realistically, we get to discard a King and create a 2-2 two -two to then sack to the Witch's Hour and get a food to then play him for free, use our drawbridge and swing. So it just she comes in at the right time most of the time. I think, you know, two copies is working and I've been keep sticking to it. So for now, we're just gonna do that. Our Tamio, four copies because genius, you know, she's going to just look for mainly our oven or our drawbridge, but occasionally our Oko. They're the three targets that you're gonna plus one with her and then hopefully dump two of these, three of these into our graveyard. And then we're set up for the rest of the game. She can fully set up the whole game for us. 
the minus three, just pluck back the right piece at the right time and you are in win city. And then obviously our king. This guy is the whole build around, the whole cheese, the whole steez, and he is a hungry mofo. He's going to eat everything we produce for him. Our lands is pretty janky and ugly. You probably have better lands than me, but make sure you have four in the plan of beacons because we have a couple of these planeswalkers and it's mainly just for life gain we don't we're not overly worried about colors we can use the gilded goose to get to the colors we need but that's a rarity realistically it's for life gain you know we're going to be pumping up two or three life or whatever just by playing a planeswalker then triggering it stupid i feel like once they see the writing on the wall they realize and scoop i win by scoops with this deck the drawbridge is the one man that's the one that they actually underestimate and that's the one that gives us the ability to win for us to go six food tokens sack them all bring back two kings tap this and swing with 14 vigilance i actually do regularly and consistently so you will see in a couple of games that that happens but if you build the deck you will see it yourself so this is the combo i've found that actually works and comes together really nicely but you know go and check the games out yourself tell me what you think make sure you hit me up in the comments like subscribe follow and hit me up when i do my live because i want to hear back from anyone tell me some decks you want me to build tell me something that you want to verse me with or you know if you have suggestions for this deck i mean realistically the secret keeper i've been thinking about dipping down by two and bolstering up two more kazmina but if there's something i'm not seeing super open for any kind of input so yeah check out the games enough chin flapping from me and we'll have a chat afterwards huh okay it's recording Five games now. I press record, play all my game, get to the end, and no, I haven't been recording. Fantastic, right? No troll, what a waste. I feel like that uh, Merfolk Secret Keeper is doing us damage more than it's doing us good. Like, lots of damage before it's doing lots of good. Let's get our drawbridge down in hopes of being able to haste our feasting talking. Oh good, it's still recording people, it's still recording. Fantastic. Alright. Got nothing? That's good news. It's good news. Where are people? We could be shaping out here. We could be. Yeah, I reckon. I reckon we need to put shit in the graveyard. Go digging for Oko. Thank you. At least we get a troll. So next turn, we will minus get back the one drop, two drop, plus three foods, bomb swing of the seven. Yes, that's good. If he gets rid of the drawbridge, we're very unhappy. Okay. You can still have a bounce to your hand spell. You might as well tick her up, bro. Are you not doing anything? Whoops! Oops! Bro! Bro! That's right, yeah, that's right. Oops. Yeah! Let's do seven damage, because why not? Whoa. 
Whoops. Okay. That's actually cool because next turn I just do the same thing, right? Oops. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Why can't I pay two and create a food? Oh, I had summoning sickness. He's just oopsing me now, like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I've got gotcha. you. No nah, man, you got no idea. Right? And we will get our goose back. One, two, three. You put it on the wrong one, dude. It's the drawbridge, right? Pretty sure it's the drawbridge, brah. Honing. Honed. Mono black magic. I had to make sure I was still recording that. 24, isn't that sweet? 24. You haven't ticked up Chandra once, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? Chandra's angry at you. Yeah, sweet, right? Like, I'll just get him back. I'll get some tokens. Yeah. You see the writing on the wall, right? You can see this? Can you see this? <laughs> yeah, sure, man. No worries. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not even gonna bother blocking it. That's that's how much I have won the game, right there. <laughs> this drawbridge, bro, I'm telling you. This door, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Win! Win! Oh, cool, this is good. Go for a scrozzle. Yeah, Oko, okay. thanks for showing your face, bro. So we're going to turn two, turn three, turn four. Bridge it up. Let's bridge it up, let's build a bridge and then cross it. Enough dad jokes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all right? Jeez, jeez. How about a little life gain as well, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. All right. All right now. Yeah. So you're gonna attack and be tapped out, or nope? That's what I thought. Exactly what I thought. I'm not gonna charge for the Troll King there in the graveyard, but whatevs. Um, no, I think we leave the drawbridge. We need other things. I think we just like swap this for this. Thanks for that, buddy. Yeah, he does that. He totally does that. 
No more triggers for you. I love... Okay, he's like the perfect mix of tempo and self-service, right? He's going to serve us pies or roasted boars and pheasants and eggs and stuff. But meanwhile, he just brings havoc onto the opponent, which is fantastic. Yeah, so do you have a pump spell? I guess you don't. Sweet. Okay. This is cool. So we'll get another food here. Yeah. 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 We are set the up, man. Seriously, we are set up. Mhm. Mm Come on, what's this? What you got? Four mana. Where's all your Where's all your triggers at, bro? Oh, I've got them. I got them over here. Put down another reef. Just put down another reef. You know. Oh. Hmm. Nice. I will pay tribute to that. Having a four-one flyer is pretty decent. I do have a blocker. I just gained some life in my turn. You haven't used food before, I can tell. <laughs> you gonna swing? Sure. No. We go the blockers. The block there. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Okay, it doesn't want me to play a land, so I'm just gonna go like this. Boom. Bada bing. Bada boom. I'll just swing with this guy. Are you going to get rid of your two uh, trailblazers? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There's our three food tokens. And we'll just end turn. Yeah, he's not legendary, bro. We can have 14 damage on the battlefield because we're awesome. All right. Let's see what's going on. What's he got? You can get your four damage in. If that's what you want. Okay. That's pretty good. Six four flies, pretty good. Meanwhile, if you don't go for Oko, I can just legit. Okay. We'll just take him. Yeah. Because that's what we do, bruh. Go back to 20. And we'll just get Oko back. Because, you know, we loves our Oko. Yeah. Is he like seeing what's going on here or is he thinking that his elements going to carry him through? No. Oh, yes. It has trample. Yeah. Now, I'm just going to leave her there until we get another freaking Troll King. I love this deck, man. It's so cruisy. I'm like in the best mood playing it, and that's like the sign I look for when I build decks. 
is it's not just the fun factor. It's like you are actually in a good mood when you play. How often are you trying to play a comp deck and you just get the shits, you get frustrated because it just janks or does something and you've invested all this money and it's not actually a good mood deck. A good mood deck is the one. Okay, sweet. So you're going to go for Oko. That's the smartest move. You're not even going to attack. Okay. Sweet, bro. <laughs> well, I could drop him to the ground, which is probably better. I'll just put him on the ground. Thank you. Um, I think we go for another Oko, but Trailer Crumbs could probably be better. Oh, there's another Choking. Oh my god, what a perfect draw. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Seriously, let's just drop him. Doesn't really matter. Can he see it yet? Do you reckon he can see it yet? <laughs> and the drawbridge bridge he underestimated. Let's just swing in with all of our sevens. What do you got? Trample. Yeah, block them all, man. Trample, doesn't matter. You still got like six damage on this side. They have trample, bro. Sweet. <laughs> oh, man, this deck rocks. It does so well. This is the one I've been trying. I wanted the pie to be perfect. I wanted it to be perfect. And now it is. Not the best start, but I'm going to keep it. Boom! Perfect. Here I was thinking about taking out that. Turn one, we're ready. Turn two, we're even closer. We flooded on our lands, but that's fine. What are you. He's looking at it all going, oh, okay. Wow, we are flooding out. You didn't put down no creature. You're gonna stop the food. Perfect, actually. Turn three, we can have a second food token. No worries, bro. You can do that. Mm -hmm. Double oven, you say. Because why not? Yeah. Can you see what's going on right now? I'm like one food away from casting our troll, and I'm just a drawbridge away from swinging with said troll. So if I draw, you get the drawbridge next, I have to play him. I have to play him. on his hand okay trying to get the damage in but you're giving me a double trigger here like four triggers of oh, yeah in total um i think we have them in the graveyard now so i think we go looking Um, the drawbridge. Yeah, that's it. Nothing. Wow. So next turn we can actually double play them. And that's enough to bring our troll king out.
Yeah, sure. Don't respect the cameo, whatever, right? I know he's just trying to get the damage in while it's there. Oh, right. That's not very good, is it? for Oko. I could feel that. Okay. So you're going to keep them up to block? Or do you have an answer? I think you can see what's going on here already. Plus my Temi is at 7, so... I'm pretty good. We're gonna get Oko back next turn. That's just gonna loop everything. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool, bro. That's cool, bro. Keep it at two. Sweet. Should I make a food? Should I make a food? One, two, three. We definitely don't have enough yet, so. Drawbridge, please. Wow, that was painful, brush. That was like uber painful, brush. So let's get our Oko back, please. So you're going to block here. I'll take it. Let that happen. Yeah. Yes, we will in turn. Why didn't I sacrifice him? Because I wanted him D E D dead. Robin Hood Men in Tarts quote. I do know how to spell, by the way. Occasionally. Not very well, but that wasn't the question that you didn't ask. Okay. Okay. Let's get a food. Ooh. That's pretty fun. Ain't it? Um, I think we go for another ogre. Oh, maybe a trailer crumbs would be better. Oh, I called out Oko. I called out Oko. And past turn. Ow. All right, let's make this happen. I think you can see that I have one in the graveyard, one on the battlefield, two ovens, an Oko so I can swap 
for this guy. Sure. Yeah. It's fine, bro. Probably should have brought that in untapped, shouldn't I? One of them costs three or less. Well, I think we can just make a food token. Actually, we'll just drop him on the ground. question mm-hmm mm-hmm you know I'm putting your token last yeah sweet I'll let him go for that that's a nice swappage And we were in turn there. Yeah, I got two, man. I got two sitting there waiting. He's like, why didn't you witch his oven and cook him? Because, man. Because. I needed to get rid of your jerks. Your flyers. You presented it. You're at 22 life. Wouldn't you take seven? Wouldn't you take seven and hold up, like, six damage in the air? Taking me to 11? This is what this deck does. It legitimately throws them so far that they misplay. Just repeats these things going on and on. Yeah. Sure. Not that, that matters. And combat. Thank you. Thank you. So why don't we do this? Three of them. Can he see it yet? Can he see it yet? <laughs> oh lord. Yeah, he's taking the 14 this time. He doesn't want to lose his creatures. He does not want to lose his creatures. And we're just going to turn him into a 3-3. So, uh, yeah. Last turn. He's fully checking out his out, right? Like, oh yeah, sweet. Well, guess what? I'm just gonna get two food tokens instead and you're gonna waste your mana. Yeah. See you later, buddy. Make a token with him and I'm swinging with another 14, travel. Um, yeah, I kind of have to, don't I? That's just what it is. And the good old drawbridge. How many times am I gonna swing a 14? Gonna swap some creatures? That's good.
out. I was getting some life. <laughs> What's he gonna do here? What's possibly going to happen here? Is it a scoop or do you have a time wipe or whatever it is, you know, sweep the board? No. No. I'm just going to have a free range here. Sure. I don't respect none of the uh, planeswalkers or nothing. Okay. I didn't have to do that, but whatever. Yeah, he's looking at that drawbridge. Finally, he's looking at that drawbridge. I only got one with haste, which sucks, but whatever. If he kills him, we're still pretty cheering. I'm going to get a token here. I'm going to get a token here. Possibly should have turned him into a 3-3 three, three foist, but it was fine. You got a double block, bro, yeah. Now, do I just let the board be clear? 5, 6, 7, so it would be like this. I think we do. the board cuz why not two okay that's fine what's you got what's you got And come back. Exactly what I thought. Exactly what I thought. So we're going to swing with 14 again. You have an answer? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so, man. There's nothing you could do. That is well rounded, bro. This is the third, fourth match, something like that. 